Hello people and welcome to another Planet Side 2 video. Hope you're all doing good. My name is Matthias and uh, in this video I want to try to explain something that a lot of people have asked me about and it is how you deal with an ESF chasing you. How do you lose an ESF chasing you or how do you actually beat an ESF that is already on your tail? So I went in real quickly on my uh, Terran account in order to try to find some uh, dogfights to explain this. Before long this site was uh, behind me and uh, well I'm not trying to lose him. I just make this turn in order to face him so I can shoot back and start uh, fighting him. So next up here we have the same situation. I'm being tailed by a reaver you can see on the minimap. And before the fight actually begins I have less than half my HP left. Now the way I do it in situations like this when you're being tailed by somebody, I don't try to lose them unless I'm in uh, enemy control territory and I really have to get out of there fast. You have to realize also, if you are being chased by an experienced pilot over enemy territory, you are most likely going to go down. That's how this game works. As much as you can turn and flip in all directions, when you do that, he just gets closer and closer and eventually he will get you. So now the first thing I would suggest for you to practice is to make a 180 degree turn. I will use this trusty pillar again. I'll put it behind me so that it's uh, straight behind me. And uh, then I try to just quickly turn and uh, be able to put my aim on that pillar again to make sure that I made a 180 degree turn, which is uh, basically in, this is the direction that your uh, enemy is going to come from right behind you and like always try to keep a momentum going make sure that you are moving it in one direction at all times that is the number one most important thing as an ESF pilot don't ever hover and then once the fight begins it's about your aim and control versus your opponent's aim and control and unfortunately with planet side 2 it also has to do with who has what aircraft now if you are an experienced pilot if you have uh, some skill and you've practiced a bit you are going to do well in all aircrafts and there obviously are different ways of flying depending on uh, your style and your personal preferences and in the balance discussions between the different ESFs you have uh, a lot of people that uh, try to uh, compare the different uh, data the different uh, numbers of all these ESFs and all that stuff and I do respect all the time and effort they put into this and all the hard work and I try to stay updated with this and read as much as I can uh, all the stuff that I get my hands on now I recognize these balance discussions from the previous Battlefield games like Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2 and also from another game called Frontlands Fuel of War that I played even before that. These kind of balance discussions they kind of follow the same pattern where if you know how to fly once you get to a certain skill level you will just realize what aircraft is better than the other aircraft and you don't need these numbers anymore. And it always favors uh, speed, maneuverability, agility and some such. And when it comes to the balance, the way it affects the game, there are two major differences here that I want to point out. Number one, in the Battlefield games and in this Frontline Field of War game that you have, you always have sides change. So whatever imbalances you, that worked against you in the first game, you, could, you just had a side switch and then it favored you the next game. The imbalances didn't have that much of an impact to the game. The other thing was that when you ended up in all these uh, discussions with people, you uh, didn't have to resolve to numbers and a uh, bunch of um, pointless arguments. What you could do, or what we did all the time, was that if somebody didn't understand the differences between one aircraft to towards another aircraft, we could just invite them to our uh, clan server, give them the password and the IP number, invite them and show them the differences. This is what I want in Planet Side 2. I would like to show all these people that believe that the Reaver can match the Mosquito. Go 1 versus 1 with me, best of 10. You can use the Reaver with whatever upgrades you want. I will use the Mosquito and then I will show you the difference. So please, uh, Sony Online Entertainment, could you give us this option? Oh yeah, and by the way, speaking about uh, Mosquito superiority. During this session, I had at one point 98 kills to zero deaths in 1 hour and 5 minutes. 
Now obviously this is kind of a one time event for me, the, this kind of score, but the last couple of uh, weeks I've tried to compare a little bit the difference the, in score that I get in just in one hour session between the Reaver and the Mosquito and it is a major difference between these two aircrafts. I cannot in any way get close to the same score with the Reaver as I get with uh, the Mosquito and I still have about twice the amount of kills with the Reaver that I have with the Mossy. So uh, yeah, again, Mosquito for the win. And again, I'm not trying to talk about just one event here and one event there. I'm trying to talk about a consistency of uh, one hour sessions and comparing them in order to try to get an overall uh, result. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. Please let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, there's going to be about uh, three more minutes of me flying around here with the Mossy. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, bye for now. Destroyed. 